projects like this come along once in a lifetime. You don't get an opportunity to be on these type of capital projects that often. So this new pipeline is Conduit 16. We're building a new pipeline to replace two uh, existing pipelines from Ralston Reservoir down to the Moffat Treatment Plant. The pipelines run approximately eight and a half miles. It's an 84 inch diameter pipe, is one of the largest pipelines in our delivery system. We're replacing the existing water pipelines because they've worn out over time. They've held up really well for many years. Another reason we're replacing the old pipelines is to prepare for our new treatment plant that's being built up at the Ralston facility, which will transport treated water down into the city. This pipeline is important to our customers because it's going to carry approximately 20% of all of Denver Water's water to the city. Back when the original pipelines were installed, they had it easy. There was open field and you could lay a pipeline in a straight line from point A to B. Get one down. So the project is being built in four phases. The first phase, it's the tunnels that go under three major highways, I-70, Highway 58 and Highway 93. And then we also are crossing underneath two railroads. We also have to build this pipeline under Clear Creek. The most impressive thing on this project to me is the tunneling. The machine we got here is pretty much a piece of casing that's almost nine feet round. And we're propelling it through the ground and using an excavator to remove the soils and load them on a conveyor system. A lot of track, a lot of material, a lot of time. Tunnels just give you challenges. You, you never know exactly what you're gonna get until you get through there. We're looking at anywhere from 40 to 60 feet will probably be an average day. Four of the tunnels will be done by a machine. The last tunnel will be actually done pretty much old school with hand mining. Denver Water is always looking for ways to improve the system to provide reliable water sources for Denver Water customers.